Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. For today's video I have some drugstore dupes for some of my favorite high-end makeup products and looking down at my table I think for the most part I do have a makeup product for every category in which you would do your makeup in so I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will leave everything that I'm talking about down below in the description box if you are interested and I don't know if you guys can tell but hopefully you can. I did get a new camera. I decided to upgrade and I will also leave that and all of my camera equipment in the description box below. So here I am all my imperfections literally full HD I have no idea how to work the settings on this camera so I'm sorry if the quality doesn't look the best I'm gonna keep trying to play around with the settings and just get it to be perfect so hopefully my next couple of videos will look a lot better than this one so yeah that being said I hope you guys like this video and if you want to see some drugstore dupes then just keep watching so since I do have a lot of products I'm gonna start in the order in which I would do my makeup so I always like to start with my brows and I have some pomades to share with you guys so I have two high-end ones that I feel like are very very similar so the first one is the it cosmetics build a brow this is basically just a brow pomade this one is in the shade dark brown and then I have the Anastasia dip brow in soft brown so I absolutely love both of these and I prefer pomades on my brows personally over like pencils or powders I feel like they last longer and they look better on me so a dupe that I have for both of those is the salon perfect dark brown pomade you can find this at Walmart and it's like five dollars and it's literally amazing I absolutely love the formula of this it's really creamy it's easy to work with and it lasts forever I never have an issue with my eyebrows like melting or anything so this is just literally the exact same thing as these two you do get less product in here but honestly for the price you can't really beat it and pomades like this last me forever and if you ever have an issue with your pomades getting dried out just put a little bit of baby oil in it and honestly they're like brand new and they just glide on your brows so I always like to do my eye makeup first just to avoid getting fallout on my face so I'm gonna do like eye products before I do face products so the first thing I have is the Urban Decay Naked Palette I'm sure you guys all know what this looks like it's absolutely amazing and this was one of my first high-end purchases so this palette means a lot to me and I I have used it a lot this was like one of my go-to's in high school it's beautiful so I actually have two dupes for this eyeshadow palette first one is the Wet n Wild O Natural eyeshadow palette and this one is in Bare Necessities this eyeshadow palette is amazing this retails for six dollars and that you can find this exclusively at Walmart the colors are extremely extremely similar they don't have every single color that's in the naked palette but for the most part they are like almost spot on these wet n wild eyeshadows are amazingly pigmented they are so creamy and buttery they last a long time and they're just great for the price and then another dupe that I have is for the naked palette is the NYC Lovatics by Demi this one is in the shade 20 natural so again it doesn't have the exact same colors as the naked palette but they are very similar if you want those new neutrals and the thing I love about both of these drugstore palettes is that there's a really good mixture of shimmer and matte shades because I know the drugstore was lacking on that for years so I love how they're coming out with palettes with a really good mix so next I have my Too Faced chocolate bar palette this is also one of my all-time favorite high-end palettes it's just so beautiful again I love the mixture of mattes and shimmers the colors are just extremely blendable of course all Too Faced stuff smells like milk chocolate which is amazing so a dupe that I have for it is another wet and wild palette this is the same one that I was just talking about except this one is in a different color this one is in nude awakening again this does not have the exact same colors or like the same packaging or anything as the Too Faced one but a lot of the colors are very similar you have light shimmers you have a beautiful burgundy shade which is literally almost the exact same thing as the one in the Too Faced palette or you could create very similar looks with both of these palettes which is why I wanted to mention them next up I have a liquid liner to mention so the high-end one that I have is the Lorac front of the line pro pen liner which looks like this I love liners like this especially for doing the wing because it makes it super super easy and since it's like a pen form you have a lot of control over the brush an exact dupe that I found for this Lorac eyeliner is the Jessie's girl liquid liner you can get this at Rite Aid for like six bucks and the reason I love it again is because it has like that pen form and this is super black very pigmented I actually honestly like the Jessie's Girl one better. I feel like the more that I was using both of them I found that this one is actually darker than the Lorac one and I love my liner to be super super black so this is why I love it. Even the packaging is like very very similar. Oh I almost forgot actually to mention this um, MAC tan pigment. This one is just so beautiful. It's like a rose gold champagne color and these type of colors are my favorites in the summer because I think with a the tan they just look so gorgeous. I have literally an exact 
exact dupe for this. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. I'm actually wearing this color all over my lid today, and it's just literally stunning like I said it's one of my go-to's I've had this for so long and I have not ran out of it basically mine did crack but um, it comes in a pressed form and it just comes off like a beautiful metallic gorgeous eyeshadow and I could honestly consider this like a pressed pigment because of how intense it goes on and if you want to make it really really intense you can dip your brush in the product and then spray it with like a mist you can use like a setting spray like max fix plus or something like that and just make it really Really vibrant and wet and metallic looking which I love all right next up I have an eyelash glue now this eyelash glue the house of lashes eyelash glue is not necessarily high-end because it is very affordable still it's eight dollars but once you add shipping and tax and all that because you're ordering online it does become a little bit pricey and you kind of feel like you have to buy like two or three of them for it to be worth it because if you just buy one it can get a little bit pricey but I decided to throw in here the Kiss Eyelash Glue. This is literally the same exact thing as the House of Lashes one, and you can get this at the drugstore. I found mine at Walmart. I go to Walmart and Target for all of my makeup for the most part, but this one was like two something or three something. I know it was under $5. I love this eyelash glue because it comes with a brush, so it makes it really easy to just apply it to your lashes. I don't ever have an issue with my eyelashes falling off or coming off or anything like that this is like super glue it's amazing and sometimes I find that it's so intense that when I take off my makeup I actually have to put a little bit of like coconut oil over top of my lashes because this when you put this on your eyelashes and you put them on they're not going anywhere moving into face products I'm going to start with primers of course so the high-end primer that I have is the Becca backlight priming filter this is one of my favorite primers because it really gives you this gorgeous glow to your skin you can mix this with foundation or you can apply it like to the tops of your cheekbones or something and the thing I love about this is first of all it smells like lemons I don't know if it's just me but this literally smells like lemons when I apply it. It's super hydrating and I love the fact that it comes with a pump because it allows you to save product. But the thing I love about it besides all those things is the fact that it doesn't have any glitter or shimmer in it. It just gives your skin a beautiful like glow from within. It's not overwhelming so I feel like even if you have oily skin you could use this and it's not going to look like greasy or cakey or anything like that. So a dupe that I actually was really impressed with that I found for that is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. It's amazing and it also comes with a pump which is great. I love products with pumps and this is also not shimmery, not glittery, nothing. It just gives your skin a glow, like a beautiful, gorgeous, healthy glow, like J-Lo. So I think products like these are really great in the summertime because, I mean, who doesn't want to glow, especially with a tan? Like, yes, give it to me. Next up, I have foundations. Now, I actually only have one to talk about. These are two of my holy grail, like, foundations ever. I'm wearing this one today. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This does not come with a pump, by the way. I had to buy this pump separate, and I just bought this at MAC. But that's one thing I don't like about it. But regardless, this foundation is beautiful. It's full coverage. If you have oily skin, I highly recommend it. And I love how they have so many different shades. And the shades that they do have, they're kind of very, like, yellowy, which I like because I have, like, yellowy olive skin tone. So I don't really like to wear things that are too pink or too white. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I really enjoy this foundation. However, I have so many foundations. And the one that I found that is, like, extremely similar when I have it on my skin is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. So this foundation is full coverage, but the thing is that whenever I apply both of these, I feel like my skin can breathe and it looks like my skin. It doesn't feel like I have an overwhelming amount of makeup on, which I love, especially in the summertime because I don't like my makeup or my face to look or feel cakey, especially when I'm outside in the heat. It just is very uncomfortable. With these two, I don't have that issue. Next, I have a concealer. I have the MAC Pro Longwear as my high-end version. This one is in the shade NW20. As much as I love this concealer, I just honestly hate hate the packaging of it first of all I just have to say the pump is just so messy you waste so much product because a little bit of this goes a long way so it just pumps out so much more than what you really need so I always honestly prefer this one and this is a dupe that I found the NYX HD concealer I find this to be extremely similar this is literally amazing because it's full coverage just like the MAC one but it also comes with a doe foot applicator which allows you to save product and you can control how much you're actually applying on your face which is great 
So my next one, I'm actually wearing this also underneath my eyes today, is in the shade Beige, and I love this for concealing, highlighting. It's so full coverage, but I feel like no matter how much you put on, it doesn't look heavy underneath your eyes or cakey. It's just absolutely amazing. So love both of these, but again, NYX HD, you can't go wrong because of the packaging. It's so much better than the MAC Pro Longwear. I wanted to mention this like little, I think these are called Ch Chubby Foundation Stick by Clinique, and I really like this, especially for cream contour. I think it's great. It gives you like a nice airbrush look. A dupe that I found for this Clinique Chubby Foundation Stick is the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation Stick. This one is in the shade Toffee Caramel and then the Clinique one is in the shade 24 Garreton Golden. So I find that these formulas of both of these are so similar. When you apply them to your skin, they're creamy, they're blendable, they're easy to work with, they don't get cakey when you put powders over top of them, which I'm really big on. So I literally think the Maybelline one is the same exact thing as this. Um, I honestly feel like the Maybelline one is actually a little bit more creamy and easier to blend than the Clinique one. Love them both, but I feel like the Maybelline one is just like, a win. I almost forgot to mention this primer. I am so sorry, but this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is basically like a silicone-y type of base, which I personally really like. I find that silicone-based primers really give my skin a nice smooth finish. My foundation looks really nice when I put them over top. But a dupe that I have for that is the Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel. And I know what you're thinking. Why are you even talking about that? But you can find this where they have like the feminine hygiene products. And it's literally the exact same thing. You can apply this to your face. I do have sensitive skin at times and I don't have any issues with this irritating on my face or anything like that. It's just a really great smoothing primer. If you have oily skin, you could use this to like minimize your pores and stuff like that. It's not really a mattifying primer, but again, it's more for pores and kind of just filling in any imperfections that you have. Next up, I have one of my all-time favorite powders. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light Plus. MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes are amazing. I have used these for years, and even in high school, I used to get compliments whenever I would wear this on my skin because that's how beautiful and creamy they look on your face. It's not like a matte finish, but it's not a dewy finish. It's kind of just like a natural, your skin but better finish on your face, and it, it's just so beautiful. I have found, though, a dupe for that powder is the e.l.f. Pressed Powder. This is $3. I'm pretty sure they have these in store. I'm not completely sure. All the times that I've gotten this, though, I have ordered them online, um, but it's totally worth it because e.l.f. is so affordable anyway, and they always have like different promotion codes. This is the closest powder that I have found to remind me and be very similar to the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes in the sense that they just go on like butter on your skin and they don't give you like that cakey, matte, powdery, baby powder look on your face. They're just like very natural and they set your makeup beautifully. You can use both of these powders to set your foundation or just to set underneath your eyes and they look flawless. All right, next I have a blush. This is another MAC product. This is one of my favorite ones. It's in the shade Gentle. It's a mineralized blush, so it doesn't have any shimmer in it, but it has like a bit of a like sheen. It gives you like a natural sheen to your cheeks. This is a really pretty like mauve tone shade, as you can see. It's like pinky purpley. I really love colors like this all year round, especially in the summertime when I do get tan, because I find that really light shades just don't show up on my skin, because I can get really, really dark. So an exact dupe that I have for this one is the Maybelline no, Milani Baked Blush. This one is in the shade Fantastico Mauve. Milani is one of my favorite blends Blands, brands from the drugstore, especially when it comes to blushes. Their blushes are beautiful. Their baked blushes are like high end for such an affordable price. The Milani one is actually a little bit better in my opinion. I actually like the pigmentation and formula better. The MAC one is not as pigmented as the Milani one, which is kind of crazy to say, but it's true. You actually do have to build up the MAC one to get it to be really intense. Whereas the Milani one with just a little bit of like a brush over top of it, you get so much pigment. It's insane. All right, next up, I I have a highlighter. This is my current favorite high-end highlighter. I am wearing that today on my cheeks and this is the Lorac Illuminating Highlighter in the shade Daylight. First of all, I just want to shout out Lorac for the packaging of these. They are so luxurious, sleek, very easy to kind of just put in your makeup collection. I just love the packaging and I love how it's like a magnet. But anyways, this highlighter is literally the prettiest highlighter. It's like a really gorgeous metallic gold shade. Very vibrant and intense and I absolutely love it. I was looking through my collection and trying to really compare to which highlighter reminds me of this and the one that I found is the Hard Candy Highlighter in the shade Tiki. This is technically called a baked bronzer but honestly this is a highlighter. You can find Hard Candy only at Walmart and this is the closest thing that I found to it as the Lorac one. It's 
pretty much honestly very spot on and it has those gold tones to it and I love this because it is very versatile you can also use this like on your brow bone and your inner corner you don't have to just put it on your face very beautiful very buttery and I did crack mine but I'm still using it because it is amazing all right almost done I have some lip products to talk about so this is one of my favorite high-end nudes this is the Too Faced lipstick in nude beach it's literally the perfect nude not too pink not too nude not too brown it's amazing and I love this on its own because because it is very very creamy and pigmented and you don't really need a gloss over top of it an exact dupe that I have which is the color I'm wearing on my lips today is L'Oreal fairest nude pretty much the tones might look a little bit off but when you actually go to apply them you cannot even tell honestly the L'Oreal lipsticks are extremely pigmented and creamy on the lips as well they don't dry them out which I really enjoy because I don't always put a gloss over top of my lipstick so I really like just to be able to wear this on its own without any cracking issues and another uh, lips product that I have is the MAC Lip Glass. This one is in Snob. The color that I'm going to show you is not the dupe. Like, the color is not the same, but the formula is the same. So a dupe that I have for the MAC Lip Gloss is the Milani Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss. Again, this is not the same color, but the formula of these Milani Lip Glosses is the same as the MAC ones. Literally, like, the same exact formula. They're creamy, but I actually like the Milani ones better because they're not as sticky as the MAC ones. I know that they're meant to be sticky so that they can last last longer but I find that these Milani ones last a very long time as well this is what I'm wearing over top today of that Ferris nude lipstick and I absolutely love them they also smell so sweet like cupcakes just like the MAC one so literally I think they made them in the same factory because they are the same so those are all the makeup products that I have I'm going to talk about brushes really quick I just have two to show you so the first one that I have is the Sigma large powder f30 I use this a lot in my makeup tutorials and I always get asked what brush is that this is a great powder brush it's really fluffy and full and it just applies powder perfectly I love powder brushes like this because I feel like it kind of prevents my makeup from looking cakey like my powder and because it kind of just dusts the product perfectly onto your face and it's really big which I like but an exact dupe for this brush is the Real Techniques large powder this is literally so similar it's not even funny because the Real Techniques one is like 10 bucks I think so it's a little more pricey than like a normal like drugstore brush but it's worth it I've had this brush for three years it doesn't shed it looks brand new I absolutely love it I'm telling you this is such a great brush and I love the handle on this it's like very high-end so love these two these are like my go-to powder brushes the last brush that I have is the Sigma flat top kabuki this one is the f80 I know this is super super popular to be honest I don't use this brush as much as I used to before because I find that I always reach for my beauty blender over any other brush nowadays because I love the way it applies my foundation over these brushes but sometimes I do use it it's like once in a blue moon but anyways a dupe that I have for that brush is by RC cosmetics now I don't have the exact brush with me I lost it like a few months back however I just wanted to show you guys that they do have kabukis the kabukis that you get from RC cosmetics you get four of them for I think it's like 16 to 20 dollars if you were to buy the full kit from RC cosmetics with the kabuki brushes because you do get four you're still spending less than if you were to just buy this brush from Sigma so again I will leave that linked below if you want to check it out because I don't have the other flat top brush but it does come with a flat top brush which is the exact same thing as this Sigma one it's great but this one is like the angled flat top brush which is also really great for foundation I love it and these RC cosmetic brushes again I've had this one for also like three years I believe and it's so good it's so soft and it's very very similar to the Sigma one alright guys so that does complete this video I know that I talk so much I apologize but again I will leave all info down below if you are interested don't forget to leave me some of your favorite dupes down below for some of your fave high-end things Thank you guys again for watching and until next time, I'll see you soon.